Hi everybody. Welcome back to Work Right Planner. This is the place where I share all of my financial faux pas with you guys so that you don't make the same mistakes that I did in life. I am sorry I am coming at you looking really rough today, but I got an email and I was very upset and uh, my face is red. Sorry. Um, I thought I'd share it with you guys. Public servant loan forgiveness. I had filled out my paperwork, turned everything in. I have been a public servant for, I don't know, uh, 12 years, uh, plus my time at the school. So it's been a hot minute. And public servant loan forgiveness says that if you make 120 qualifying payments, that you don't have to pay your student loan debt anymore because you've done public service work, which generally does not pay like private sector work. So this is the, the bonus to having the public servant job. Sorry, driving. But uh, anyway, so long story short, 120 qualifying payments means that you've worked for 10 years full time for a nonprofit. Okay? That qualifies you for the PSLF program. I, of course, have worked in a government job since 2012, and I worked for a school system before that. So, it's 2023, y'all. Um, so I, I should have quite a few qualifying payments. Well, of course, pre-COVID, I turned in all my paperwork. I did a video about it. Um, if I think about it, whenever I'm posting this one, I'll link it. But they disqualified all my payments. This is before COVID. Uh, I don't remember why. They couldn't tell me why, I don't think. Um, that they disqualified my payments, but they disqualified my payments and only gave me like two years worth of credit Which was ridiculous because nothing changed Between the two years that they actually counted and all the others that they disqualified But it is what it is um, So I have refilled out all the paperwork. They sent me something saying that they had found uh I think it was an additional five years worth of payments during COVID when they did the reevaluation. So that took me up to seven and I filled out the paperwork um, because they had disqualified my time working for county government. And I was like, hey, you know, I worked for the child support unit for two and a half years. Why are you not giving me credit for this? So it turns out they didn't like how somebody put their name on the paper. Like, Y'all, they'll do anything, anything at all to disqualify some payments. So I went and had that paper filled out again and recertified my time with my current employer. So I've been waiting to hear back from them, right? Because I should have my payments and I've been very excited about it. I got an email. The email says, we got your application. You do not qualify for public servant loan forgiveness because you have not met your 120 qualifying payments. I'm going to put a picture of this email on here so that you can see the craziness that they just sent me because right below it is a graph that says how many qualifying payments you have and it's like 129, 134, 130 whatever. Like how in the world? Have I not met 120 qualifying payments? If I have 130 qualifying payments, I don't know. Y'all, if you've got any experience with this, let me know. I'm gonna be contacting them. Um, I got this email late on a Friday, so of course I have to wait until Monday to contact anybody. But I'm gonna be contacting people to find out how 120 is not less than 130 somewhat. Um, and see what can be done about it because that's just dumb. Anyway, <laughs> like, 
I was a little upset and I thought, you know, there are other people out there who are in the same boat as I am with their student loans. And I understand not giving like widespread loan forgiveness. I'm not gonna gripe a whole lot about that. I knew that that was a long shot. It would have been nice, but we'd all, we all would have been paying for it after the fact. But this one was promised to me when I took this job and was supposed to be the benefit of having taken a job that does not pay. It just, they do not pay. And I was supporting two kids off of, what, $24,000 a year for the majority of the time that I've worked here. You know, until I got promoted and then I was stuck at that pay for several years and we didn't get any raises until those that you guys have seen recently. So it just, it does not pay much to work in a public job, to work for the government. It used to be a real nice thing to do. It used to pay pretty well. Not anymore. They just don't do that anymore, which is fine. That was part of it, but I was supposed to get my student loans forgiven as part of accepting the lower pay. And I expect <laughs> to get it. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, I don't even know what else to say about it, but I'll let you know as soon as I have an update. And if anybody knows, like, has had this happen, what did you do about it? And, uh, you know, what's the turnaround time on getting them to fix this kind of thing? I would appreciate it. Okay, that's all I've got for you guys. This was kind of an impromptu video, so I don't know what the next video will be. Um, yeah, I don't even know where I'm gonna squeeze this in at, but YouTube will put the best match for you on the screen if you'd like to continue watching. Otherwise, join me for whatever the next video is. I will talk to you all later. Bye.